Suns are hot. This is the official trade. Greg Monroe, a uh, first round pick protected this year. I'm not entirely sure what the protection is. And a second round protected pick this year. You can protect second round picks in this game, though. To the Suns for Eric Bledsoe. So Bledsoe will be joining the box. These will all be going to the Suns. Would the Suns accept it? Just out of. Oh, yeah, I, it, it doesn't matter because I, I thought I was, it was going to be like, will they accept it or will they not accept it? It doesn't matter if I make it unprotected. But just remember, both those picks are protected. So Eric Bledsoe has finally been traded. I posted, posted a comment a few weeks ago when Eric Bledsoe announced that he wanted to make a trade. Or, like, request a trade. And the Bucks were probably the first team I had on there. But I had the Bucks giving up Malcolm Brogdon. So the Bucks get to keep Brogdon and get Eric Bledsoe. I want a user of a box. Darn it. All right, let me just do user that. For Bucks. But anyway, I don't really know what the Suns are doing here. If they got Malcolm Brogdon, I think this trade will make sense, but they're not getting anyone for their young future. So let's talk about the Sun side of it first. So they're trading Eric Bledsoe, who's a solid player. I get why they're trading him. He doesn't fit their young timeline. He just gives them more wins this year, which is, like, bad for them if they want to lose, which I get that they're trading him. But maybe the Cavs for the Nets pick. I mean, I don't know if the Cavs would do that. They, the Suns would probably have to give up some extra stuff. Maybe Eulis. Maybe some other depth. Allen Williams. Probably TJ Warren as well. I don't really know, but the thing that makes no sense is the Suns are getting nothing that can help them long term. Greg Monroe is a solid player, but the thing is, he's not going to be, he's not any younger than Eric Bledsoe. Let's look at this, the box score so we can see. Eric Bledsoe is 28 years old. Greg Monroe is 27. So Greg Monroe is only one year younger and he's worse than Eric Bledsoe. So, worst case for the Suns, just keep Bledsoe. And let's say for whatever reason he wants to resign, he's a good veteran presence. He's a good player. In three years, I don't know if Monroe's going to be that good. Maybe he will. But he doesn't really fit their young timeline either. Someone like Malcolm Brogdon, who's only 24 years old, does fit their young timeline. And he's not too much for the Bucks to give up since he's already 24. He doesn't have as much potential as like a Ben Simmons or a Brandon Ingram or a Jalen Brown in that draft class, or even like a Marquise Chris who happens to be on the Suns, who I also really like. I really like Marquise Chris. I think he's a beast. Fawn Maker, his teammate, another good example. So Malcolm Brogdon may have been the best one last year, but that doesn't mean he has the most promise or potential. That means he has more than we thought, but yeah, it, it doesn't work like that. So... The Suns are also getting a protected first round pick this year and a protected second round pick next year. First round picks and second round picks, especially first round picks, are always good. But the Bucks are going to be a good team, I think. Probably that pick should be in the low to mid 20s. So there's a good chance the Suns won't get anyone good. Maybe they will, and maybe I'm kind of dumb. But I don't like the fact that they got Monroe instead of Brogdon. They'd probably get a little less. I still think they could have gotten a first round pick as well as Malcolm Brogdon. Probably not this year, maybe in the future. Or maybe if they couldn't, a few second round picks. I think the Bucks will be, would be willing to give up Brogdon for Eric Bledsoe. I think it would make more sense for the Suns because Malcolm Brogdon's younger. He's not much worse of a player. And the, I like their big man situation with Allen Williams, Marquise Chris. Tyson Chandler is a decent player for now as well for like a one year stint. Or not really a stint because he's been on the team a few years, but like. For another year, like, he's a solid player to have. He can get rebounds for Devin Booker. But I'm st I don't. I just don't get this for the Suns. Now let's talk about it for the Bucks. So the Bucks are able to keep a young player, Malcolm Brogdon, who can be good in case. Oh, I do want to say one more thing for the Suns. This trade isn't even a salary dump because Monroe's on a big contract. Let's compare their contracts. I think Monroe's actually making more. What's Blitz on making? Like 12 mils are going to show me? It's not, I think he's making like 12 mil, and I think Monroe's making more like 17 mil. So this trade isn't even a salary dump for the Suns. It just gives them more cap space, which makes less sense. I'm not sure. I think Monroe probably has two more years left. I know Bledsoe does. I'm not entirely sure, though. And comparing them, I think the Suns lose more than the Bucks win. I think the Bucks obviously win, but the only thing with the Bucks is in case Fawn Maker struggles this year. I feel like Fawn Maker... Is the X factor in this trade because now he's the starting center most likely. Unless they want to start John Henson for whatever reason. But I would start Fawn Maker. So if he can improve and show flashes like he did last year, 
then it's definitely a win for the Bucks. But if not, then they're gonna have to depend on John Henson. Would you? What would you rather for one year? Malcolm Brogdon and Greg Monroe, or John Henson and Eric Bledsoe? Because Monroe's by far better than John Henson. Monroe's not a bad player at all, which is partly why I don't like it for the Suns. They should get, like, a younger player who's almost as good, probably better than Malcolm Brogdon, in most people's opinion, which makes sense. And the Suns do not have a lot of depth of point guard either. Brandon Knight is injured. Now we don't have Bledsoe. All they have is Tyler Eulis and Mike James, who are two good young players, so I think that should still work out. Accidentally called a timeout. But the Bucs, I feel like the Bucs are done their rebuild. They're ready to win now. And I think this helps them. And they get to keep a good, talented young player, Malcolm Brogdon. So I think it works out perfect for the Suns, or not the Suns, I think it works horribly for the Suns. I think it's pretty much perfect for the, for the Bucks unless Bob Maker doesn't do too well. And it could not be any better, or could not be any worse for the Suns as John Henson with the slam.